Howdy, folks. How's it going? I'm back. So, um, so I'm using a little bit of a microphone here, a real decent microphone, HD audio, just solid stuff. It looks like I'm holding a wiener to my mouth. But no, I'm pretty excited. Um, it's ready to get back in the swing of things. So I'm going to start doing more shows. I've been neglecting the audience a little bit. I've been too focused on doing those videos where I'm you know, doing the key terms, the, the terms from the finance and investment uh, handbook. And uh, while it's very fun, I don't think I'm going to do those live anymore. I think it'd just be simpler if I just did them one video at a time and tried to record as many as I could in one setting. Um, it'd just be easier because I could record all of them in one setting. It just, uh, I'll find a way. I don't know if I'll be using the HD mic when I do it. I'm really not too sure. I just think that the audio quality and audio sound would be better. Um, just overall, I've been drinking a lot of uh, Safeway Fruit Punch, by the way. So it explains my red lips. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just decided I've just been devouring the stuff. It's probably not very good for me, but uh, every now and then I do like to indulge in a, in a syrupy drink taste. Um, but for now, um, <coughs> I'm going to try to use this microphone a little bit more. Um, it takes one of those uh, CR2 batteries. Pretty neat. I like it. Oh, I just need to pop my back a little bit. But no, this has been a, it's incredible. I love doing these shows, just being able to, to speak to the audience and, and kind of get a feel for everybody here. Um, so this one's really about how to find... <coughs> I'm losing my voice a little bit, but this episode's about how to find free, high-quality audiobooks on YouTube. Now, I'm not going to show you through the web browser because I don't know how if I get in trouble doing that. But the cool thing is um, when I'm searching for audiobooks, typically here's what I do. Um, I like to, and it's really easy to find audiobooks on YouTube, but I figure it's a good idea to do a video on this stuff because I don't think a lot of people realize you don't necessarily need Audible to find high quality ebooks on YouTube. It's really neat. If you have YouTube Premium, it makes it better. You don't have to listen, you don't have to, listen to ads while listening to it. But um, so the cool thing about YouTube and what I love about YouTube, uh, I, I'm able to find audiobooks for days. Audiobooks I'd probably have to pay for, audiobooks I'd have to pay to have an Audible subscription for, blah, blah, blah. So the reason I love audiobooks is sometimes I can't always get a hold of the book that I want to read. So sometimes there's a subject matter I really need to learn, and maybe there's some key information in the book that I could get from the audiobook. <laughs> right? So there's, there's things I can get from the audiobook overall. So it's a, it's a win-win situation. Hold on. going to nap down a little bit. Going to get a little more fruit punch here. I do like the new microphone, though. It does look like a, 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 a wiener's going in my mouth. But it's really fun, though. I like having the new microphone. Another moment, though. Not my finest moments drinking off-brand fruit punch. It just seemed really good. Anyway, <clears throat> so in this episode, the whole goal is to teach you how to find YouTube videos really simple. You just search on YouTube. So for instance, when I want to find a book on investing, I will search audiobook. But when I search audiobook, I just do one word for audiobook. I don't I do audiobook, no space in between the audio and the book. Just audiobook, investing, invest, um, just anything. You know, just, just look at those key, simple key terms and you'll be fine. Um, you know, the whole goal is to find the audiobook you desire, right? Yeah, and if you don't know what you're looking for, it's great to look at the subject matter along with the term audiobook. So if you want to look up... Um, well, I don't know, a book on Photoshop, for instance, just look up audiobook Photoshop or look up audiobook business, look up audiobook, um, your favorite author, for instance, audiobook, Tony Robbins. Um, it's, it's really easy. And um, I don't even really have to show you. All you have to do is just simply go on the YouTube uh, search, <laughs> simply type in the query of what you want and just follow it by audiobook. So investing audiobook. 
uh, porn audiobook. You know, just plenty of ways to do it, and um, it's, it's a huge advantage. Um, I look up audiobooks all the time on YouTube. Uh, one of my favorite ones is uh, Rich <laughs> Rich Dad's <laughs> God damn uh, Rich Dad's Guide to Investing, and um, by Robert Kiyosaki. And all I did to find it was Robert Kiyosaki audiobook. That's all I did to find this audiobook. Now I will admit, some audiobooks end up getting taken down due to copyright claim. Uh, a lot of these audiobooks appear to be uploaded by people. Just random people probably from other countries or just random people out there in general. And I'm cool with it, man. I mean, I get a free audiobook out of the deal, so I ain't complaining. Um, uh, do the authors get the money from me? No, sadly, they don't. But, you know, um, do I want to contribute to the authors? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, if I find their book, I'll buy it, you know. But I, I, I'm a, I might get always order it on Amazon anytime, any book I want, any ebook, but. You know, if the audiobooks are there, I'm going to get it. That's just all there is to it. Plus, most of my money goes into investing. I try my best to not spend any money. So if, if YouTube's going to offer me a, an area to get free audiobooks, you're damn right. I don't even know if it's really a secret <laughs> at this point. Um, I just think it's a secret nobody really talks about on YouTube and how easy it is to find the audiobooks. And uh, it's fun. Um, but I do prefer the physical books. I do intend on reading the rest of the Finance and Investment Handbook, Barron's 7th edition, to you guys. <clears throat> There's a lot of key terms in there, man. It's going to take a while. Um, but like I said, I do plan on recording the terms individually. I think it's just going to be easier that way um, instead of me having to go bit by bit by bit. It's easier to upload it one video at a time. Um for me to record, I think, would just be better because I could get a lot of recordings done in one setting. Having to do each live session and redo the title, redo everything, I, I'd rather just enter that in manually in the post-production uh, when I'm doing the upload process. So the, these are not going to be live anymore, me reading the these. I know it's a big, fat book. I'm surprised I could just... It, sh it should, feels like it should be heavier. It's like a thousand pages, but I don't know. I pick it up. I think it's I honestly I begin stronger. I'm very happy with myself because I've been doing a lot of crazy push ups with the push up bar, but uh helps my wrist. By the way, if you're having wrist problems and you want to do push ups again, uh push up bars are pretty cool. Just as a heads up. So <clears throat> but the main goal here is just to as much as I want to do more of those, I'm gonna try to I wanna try to get them out uh as soon as I can, just really quick pre-done pre-made recordings uh just to make life easier on me you know but if uh, anybody has any questions uh <clears throat> always welcome to let me know uh, i'll try to answer to the best of my ability uh, the whole point of the channel when push comes to shove for me is to is to get this information now. Good information, I think, will help people out. And look, when I was learning investing, um, the audio books I found on YouTube were probably the best, one of the best resources because I was able to get <coughs> um, good key information from people I trusted. Uh, Tony Robbins, believe it or not, um, even though he didn't have his audio book specifically uh, available on YouTube, for Money Master the Game, I was able to ev eventually read it. In fact, I have it laying on my uh, bed. It's one of my favorite books. And um, Unshakable is one of my favorite books, too. I mean, look, you can find a lot of these books at the library, which is good. And you can probably find them at a Goodwill, which is where I found Money Master of the Game, oddly enough. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> What's great about where I live, and I got to admit, I feel very lucky and very blessed. Uh, the Goodwill I go to, uh, if I want to find a good book, I usually find it because I think a lot of retirees... Well, here's the thing. A lot of retirees live in my area. Um... And because of this, they're always donating. When they donate to Goodwill, there's a lot of good books. Like, a lot of good books. I mean, these people get rid of the greatest books ever. And I'm like, blown away. And I, I, I want to thank whoever has donated these books for their generosity. Because I'm able to get really high quality books for like two bucks a pop or three bucks a pop. But I got to admit, Goodwill is probably my favorite best, I, I favorite place to get to get really 
I, I'm totally fine with buying used. This, however, <laughs> the finance uh, and investment handbook, I got this, as you can see, the discard label at the Coos Pay Public Library. Yeah, and uh, I couldn't believe they discarded this. This is only, by the way, this book right here is is from 2007. I could sell, I could actually resell this. Somebody would buy this from me. <laughs> like, somebody would definitely buy this from me. But actually, I, truth be told, I, I really don't ever want to sell this. This has been a very handy, handy book for me. So I, I, I'd be foolish. I'd be very stupid to do so. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, you know, um, so if you're looking for a good audiobook, and this it, it, really helps for people who don't specifically like to read. You know, there's a lot of people who just don't have the time to read. They, they're too busy. They have busy lives. And you know what? I say I'm all for it, man. If you need to read audio, if you, and if you also have, if you, look, there are people who also suffer from dyslexia um, or some sort of thing where they can't sit down and read a book all the time. You know, I know we live busier lives now more than ever. Um, and the reason I promote audiobooks and the free ones on YouTube is because um, I want people to get educated about their finances, which is why I specifically want to recommend next time you're on the YouTube search, um, look up. Um, <laughs> sorry, you guys. Um, simply just do me a favor and look up uh, audiobooks by... Just look up investing audiobooks. It's all you got to do. And you'll find some very interesting ones. And these are ones you can listen to while you're cleaning the house, while you're watching the kids, you know, while you're doing your thing. You want to make sure that you're listening to these because it's good information. Like I learned very good, great techniques, great things from all these books. And I love it. Hold on. My neighbors have been making a ruckus. A little frustrating sometimes. But. I don't really know what they're doing next. Sorry. You guys probably can't even hear, but it's very frustrating. It's a little distracting. But anyway. So the point is... Um, <laughs> anyway, sorry, like I said, I can hear the neighbors next door. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing, but whatever. Um, so the point is, when you're looking for audiobooks, try to find an audiobook. When it comes to what you need to learn, look, I really do want to encourage you guys to get your finances in order. Um, and, and honestly, learning from experienced individuals is the best way to get your finances in order. You know, learn learn about the benefits of investing, learn about the benefits of asset collection, you know, learn about the benefits of real estate as an asset. There's tons of assets out there. Um, and I think that if I was to boil down what my main philosophy in life is, is collect valuable assets, real valuable assets. And real estate, actually, if you think about it, is the creme de la creme of value, valuable assets. But even though I'm not much of a real estate guy, I'm, I'm a big stocks guy. I, and I, I kind of have always have been. I've always appreciated it. I love the volatility. Um, to be told, I actually play volatility indexes, oddly enough. But it's fun. And um, volatility indexes, though, I'm not going to lie, are a little dangerous. And they're not for everybody. And they're not really... Um, the best thing in the world for everybody. But if you're someone like me and you think the economy is going to crash, uh, volatility indexes are really great. Probably one of the best things ever. I, I, I'm, I'm in love. I'm in, in, enamored with volatility indexes. I can't, <laughs> I can't get enough. I'm addicted. You got a problem. I need help. I need help. Oh. But, um, uh, thank you guys also for putting up with my odd sense of humor. Um, but I just don't want to take too long with this one. I want to make a series of live videos tonight. Just test out the microphone. Um, I love doing live videos. They're pretty much my primary thing. Um, uh, mainly because I get to stick these things on Anchor FM. And uh, I get to be a total creep in the process. And um, 
yeah, this is really nice. It's a good HD or recording microphone. Um, sorry, I feel like I'm talking about the microphone more than the audiobooks. Um, my live streams are way too haphazard. But anyway, in summary, look for audiobooks you think will help you out. Try, I mean, there's some also other audiobooks you can look up. I looked up Star Trek audiobooks and found some really fun ones. Um, as a Star Trek nut, I love Star Trek. I'm obsessed. Um, but I will say this, though. Give yourself uh, the opportunity to try to find uh, yeah, is anything investing related. If, if you really want, if you really want my truth, if you want, want the honest truth in any investing related ebook, I mean, audio book out there, uh, it's going to give you a huge advantage. And um, I mean, the only reason I tell you guys this is so you guys have the advantage, you know, the more, the more of an advantage you guys get um, <clears throat> while investing, while looking up uh, different asset classes is just I want you guys to get smarter. I want you guys to invest intelligently, not because the thing is, everybody wants quick money, and you know you do want to delay your gratification, but you also want to be an intelligent investor. You don't want to be a dumbass. There's a lot of dumbasses out there. Uh, my quintessential uh, the dumbasses I believe are the Reddit traders, for instance. I talk about the Wall Street bets crowd, people pumping up GameStop, AMC. Um, all the other ones, I don't really keep track of it because I don't really care because I'm too busy volatility trading. Sorry, just hearing a lot of crap. My neighbors, like I said, very frustrating. Um, and uh, yep, but yes, I do want to. Sorry, you guys, I, I do want to make. Uh, I do want to polish this one off because I think this is really important. We do need, I think this uh, deserves further elaboration. So um, when you're searching for audiobooks, make sure that you're just finding the best you can, looking for the ones that will give you an educational advantage. Try to, try to steer away from fictional books because those really, at the end of the day, you know, are nice, but, you know, at the end of the day, they're a waste of time. You know, try to find books that will enlighten you, give you an advantage in this life. Because, you know, the best story one can write is their own life. And being able to write, being able to have information that will allow you to write your life more concisely and more effectively is better. So continue to find books that will enrich your life and give you the edge you need. Because you never know when you need the edge, you know, and the more I become educated on investing, the more money I've made, um, smarter I become. And, um, you want to try to f give yourself the ability to be more intelligent throughout all this. So give yourself, uh, and also give yourself a pat on the back, you know, give yourself words of encouragement because, um, Whether we like to admit it or not, there is going to be a market crash one way or another. And understanding investing principles will allow you to be one of the very few who doesn't panic during a market crash and allows you to take advantage of it and allows you to understand why a market crash is the best time to invest and not the worst time. Um, although the news will make you believe otherwise. The news will keep you afraid and, and all that. So, um, closing notes, um, in summary, all you have to do is when you go on YouTube, just type in blank audiobooks, X audiobooks, and the X can be filled out with any word. X can be investing. It can be, uh, science audiobooks, um, find some interesting ones in the science section. So if you basically just whatever subject you want, and then just, uh, add audiobook at the very end of it, you'll be fine. And uh, there's a lot of good, free, high quality audiobooks. Now, like I said, some of the ones that you may like might get taken down, just as a heads up. So, so get them while you can. You might find a diamond in the rough. Uh, one time, I was able to find Grant Cardone's um, uh, "Seller Be Sold," which was a pretty good one. Um, I was surprised at how good the book was. It actually gave me more insight on how to sell. But um, oh, marketing! Marketing's another one. Look up marketing audiobooks. Very fun. Um, I love the marketing audiobooks. Uh, Blue Ocean Strategy is a good one. Um, just plenty of stuff out there, you guys. So I just, 
Um, I hope um, this has been an enlightening, uh, just enlightening overall, because I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I don't know. I just want to see you guys do really well. So I hope, I hope this has been super duper helpful, but you guys um, have always been such a good crowd. The subscribers I have, you know, sticking around, even if you don't stick around, it's just great to have people listening, uh, whether it's from, you know, whether this is random people. Um, as I always say at the end of my videos, um, if you like this video, please press the like button. If you really fucking hate this video, if you really hate my entire show or hate my existence, it's okay to hit the dislike button. Um, you know, the more honesty, the better. I think we got to do the best we can to seek truth in this life. Um, you know, and yeah, to the best of our ability. Nobody's perfect. And I still try to be a truth seeker. <sighs> I try. We all have our own demons to wrestle with. And, um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.